So you're wondering what muzzle order to buy. Well, I'm here to tell you. Either the CVA Wolf or the CVA Optima is a damn good choice. Um, I shoot the CVA Optima. Uh, that's my wife's CVA Wolf. Uh, we went and put Williams Peat Sipes on both of them. And <clears throat> they both come with the ability in the box to uh, go Western Legal and shoot. Uh, I think these are for musket caps, I believe. Uh, in a little baggie in the box, they come with a deal to shoot the uh, CCI number 11 primers, I believe. And uh, that's super easy to switch out. So I bought the Optima in 2018 uh, and started shooting it a lot. I put quite a few rounds through it. I mean, I don't shoot it as much as I should anymore, but I've hunted with this gun for five years and killed three bulls with it with no hang fires and no issues. I mean, I could count on one hand how many actual hang fires and issues I've had with this gun. Uh, you know, just out shooting it in general. I like to uh, shoot the triple seven pellets. Uh, I'll shoot 150 grains with those with the triple seven 209 primers from Winchester. And then I've got a few of these night bloodline bullets in 350 grains. Uh, they don't make those anymore, but when I run out, I'm gonna switch to the 300 grains. Your bullet selection, I think, is the most important part of uh, of hunting with a muzzleloader. Uh, in Oregon and Idaho, where you got to shoot true to bore, I'd be looking at a monolithic bullet. Uh, you know, whether that be hard cast lead or a uh, solid copper, another piece of solid brass, but for Washington and other states where you can shoot something that's salvated, these these are the go-to for me. Uh, they shoot pretty good. Uh, I've only ever put it on paper at 50 yards and I've never put a scope on it, so I'm not gonna act like this gun shoots hole through hole at 100 yards because I've never shot it at 100 yards with a scope. Here's what them uh, bloodlines look like when they are been shot into an animal. Uh, this one is from my Nooksack bull, I think, and then this one is from my big three point that I shot two years ago. What happens is when it impacts these little petals, they break off and kind of flare out. In a, pattern I mean there's plenty of YouTube videos of people testing them out you can check them out but uh, everything I've shot with them has gone down in under a hundred yards and has been pretty easy tracking um, one thing I'll say though is that I've only got one bull that had passed through but the nooksack bull was a head-on shot and the three-point was a hundred and 49 yards and I busted out his front shoulder um, Got quite a bit of in quite a quite a bit of penetration there. It was just found it right on the other side of the hide uh, But my wife she shoots with the wolf she'll shoot the Hornady 300 grain SSTs and they do pretty good for what it is both bulls she's killed with it haven't gone far but when you're hitting them with something that's 300 grains and you know damn near 50 cal in diameter it puts the hurting to them for sure let's get to the meat and potatoes here which one would I buy again? Um, I would buy both of them again. I'd probably buy the Optima over the Wolf. I like the way the Optima breaks open right here like a, like the Thompson Encores. 
and uh, contenders. I really like this style. Um, there's nothing, nothing wrong with the way the wolf breaks open. I just don't like it as much for whatever reason. Uh, but the wolf is solid. Uh, if you can pick up either of these guns, I think the wolf I picked up for like 150 bucks on sale at Fisherman's, and uh, the Optima I got for like 230 bucks at, uh, at Sportsman's Warehouse. Think. but after having both of these guns for so long I'd say that you cannot go wrong with either of them uh, they're pretty easy to keep clean as long as you keep them clean uh, you know we'll go shoot all day you know 20 30 40 rounds out of them and all it takes is just a couple patches and the bore is pretty well clean uh, that's one thing that I really like about these CVAs and these newer muzzle loaders is they're a lot easier to clean than some of the older ones. Uh, then like I've said, I've only ever had a couple hang fires and it all have been because I was loading the gun in the rain and got the powder wet. Uh, one thing I'll add here is that my father has one of the newer Acuras from CVA and I would not waste my money on that gun uh, unless you are living in a state where you can put a scope on your rifle or on your muzzleloader. Uh, you know the CVA Acura I don't think it's worth the extra I think the cheapest model is like 600 bucks and they only go up from there and I do not think that they are worth it when really the Acura is just an Optima with Cerakote and uh, a trigger that is adjustable and when the trigger is adjusted as light as it will go it is damn near the same thing as this Optima trigger um, so I wouldn't waste my money on the Acura I'd just get an Optima or a Wolf honestly and save your money if you were going to buy an Acura and you're hunting somewhere where you can only use open sights, I would, uh, I'd just, like I said, I'd save the money, buy the Optima, spend the money you saved on more bullets, more primers, and more powder, and practice more. Because uh, that's one thing I feel is a necessity with these muzzleloaders is to practice with them. Another thing I like is that there's no safety on these guns, because the safety is in the hammer. If the hammer's not pulled back, it's not going to go off because it's got the uh, the lovely uh, bar deal. So if the trigger's pulled, the only way this is going to go forward on your firing pin is if the trigger is pulled. It ain't going forward. The last thing I'll say is, God damn it, CVA, you need to make it easier to clean inside of here. And up in the trigger guard and up in the action, I mean, I just squirt mine down with freaking brake clean because that's about all you can do. Uh, they need to make that easier to clean.